Yes, yes, yes. Hello, everybody. This is your girl, Spicy Sugar, and we are here with episode 14 of the House of Hip Hop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to thank everybody who's here. Thank everybody tuning in. We are live right now, um, and the replay will be up on Ustream.tv. You just got to go to S uh, Street Media. Look it up on uh, the – you could either do it as a search or look in the channels. Either way, you'll find us. We're live right now. We also are live on – Live.me, hello my Live.me peoples, and we're also live on Fuego, which is my guest, featured guest for today. Um, we're on his live too on uh, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is House of Fire NYC. What's going on, New York City? We in the building tonight. That's right. I'm on? so happy to have you here. I'm happy to be here. I was waiting for this interview for so long. I know. I think... I, what, what we said earlier, I planned ahead of schedule. Right? Yes. I was trying to get here a month ago. He was trying to see. get here a month ago, and I was like, That's no, crazy. baby, no, hold on. We, 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 we. I mean, you got to get on the show, it's lit. You That's, know? thank you, you honey. Yeah. Listen, you lit too, but we're going to get into it. Um, This is Fuego from The House of Fire. He's here at The House of Hip Hop, and um, we're going to get more into him right now. I just want to um send uh, my thoughts and prayers out to uh, the DJ that uh, featured DJ that was going to be here tonight um dj jeff hayes and the people's dj anybody who's been watching the show knows he's been here before he's going to be here again um he just had some you know unfortunate circumstances happen to his family a family member and so we want to send a huge salute out to him let him know that the house of hip-hop loves him yeah, peace and blessings and house of fire loves him and uh we definitely are praying for you and your family and we'll definitely have you back um but we're gonna move on you know what i'm saying get this train started and as always i want to always let you know what's going on at home base so we do have some good things happening this uh, in this next week Talk about it. for uh, the S Street Media family. Um, you know, Halloween is coming up. We're going to have a Halloween show. That's going to be super dope because I'm going to come dressed. So, all right, all right. You know, That's what's I'm going to be in my little costume me. Um, but for Halloween, we also wanted to do something for the kids. So S Street Media has their first children's event um, happening, and that's going to be on October 27th. It's actually going to be a children's paint and treat. So, you know, we've had the vaping paints, and those have been a huge success. Those have been great. Um, but we want to do something for the kitties. So oh, S Street Media um, and uh, 718 Collective, the Vandal Hour, they're throwing the children's uh, paint and treat. That's going to be on October 27th. It's going to be between 2 and 6 p.m. at Home Base, which is 1639 Center Street, right here. And uh, they, it's going to include a painting session. They're going to get candy. They're going to have a costume contest. So it's going to be really dope for the kids. That's They're awesome. going to have a great time. Um, so if you're definitely interested, you know, you can hit them up uh, or just come through. You don't even got to hit nobody up. It's going to be $10 to get in. So you know how we do. We're not trying to rob you. Uh, and they are definitely going to have... Um, some fun little surprises for the kids. So bring them through. Uh, we would love to see you, parents and kitties. Um, parents don't come without your kids because it's a kids event. All right? All right. No aunties allowed. <laughs> Unless you got a kid. So uh, we're going to be doing that. And we also still have our uh, DJ battle coming up, which I'm super excited about. Um, if you don't know or you haven't heard about it, it's called the DJ to go um, to Kings Battle for the Crown. And it is a DJ battle. And the one thing that uh, is a prerequisite to the battle is they must do their thing on um, our, what is it, a uh, Newmark uh, DJ to go. If anybody has seen it, it's like the tiniest. Mixer ever. No, so that's the challenge. They got to be able to flex yes. on that. That's pretty interesting. You got to, you know, if you, listen, I feel like this. If you a dope DJ, you yeah. can rock out with anything. Yeah. So we're going to put it to the test. It's the uh, 
Respect the DJ and S Street Media event. That's going down November 3rd. Uh, November 3rd, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. DJs, if you want to get in, it's a $25 registration. Um, anybody who wants to come through and witness the event, because it's going to be an event, um, that's going to be a $5 entry, and that's also happening at home base, 1639 Center Street. Uh, that is going to be crazy because we already had some DJs, of course, you know, I – Absolutely will be the guinea pig for that. Right. So we've had some DJs uh, come up here and do their thing. Do their Anybody thing. in particular you're looking out for right now? Um, I'm not going to be biased, but, um, you know, DJ Jeff Hayes has already come up here. All and right. he was the first one. That's what's up. He was like, I ain't bringing no mixer. Let's, let's, let's do it. Yeah, you heard what she said. It's not, it's not the tools, it's the mechanics. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Don't blame the tools. Um, but yeah, he's the first one that rocked out on it. Dope. And, um, we also had DJ Swift from respect the DJ. He came up here and rocked out on it. He was acting like it was a little video game. That's so he was having a good time. Yeah. So any DJ that is interested, definitely, definitely, definitely hit us up. Um, you can hit them up on the S street media, you know, get in the DM, you know, this is one time that. A DM will actually be beneficial to you. <laughs> well, it's, it's definitely a dope platform. I know a lot yeah. of DJs out there, they want to probably see if they could participate in something like that. Absolutely. So make sure that you get your, your paperwork right and come holler at us so that way we can make something happen. Opportunity is about to be upon you. That's right. And definitely. listen, you know, New Mark has already reached out, so mm. I'm just saying. They might throw a little sponsorship maybe. And to top it off, the prizes for, you know, the top DJ is Four episodes for your own show wow. on S Street Media. Well, wow, that's a whole platform. For that's them. a whole platform for them. Mm -hmm. So you get four episodes. You get you getting a starter pack. That's pretty dope. To your own DJ yeah, show. They better get with it. That's right. Yeah. So if you're hungry, if you really bought that, you better go get that. That's right. That's right. And then you know, there's uh, second and third place prizes. I think one of the prizes is also. Um, uh, yeah, you do four street, four uh, S Street Media shows. Right, you get to guest DJ on some S Street Media shows, mm. including mine. Um, don't think you, you're gonna escape it. You know. Um, and there's a third place prize too. Yeah, you know we always got some sneaky shit going on. So <laughs> the third place prize will be announced um, closer to the event. So definitely let us know if you're interested because that is going to be something very dope. You know, my heart lies with the DJ. Um, you know, the foundation of my house is the founding elements of hip hop. But my house is definitely centered around the DJ. So that's going to be a dope event. Hit us up at Street Media. Um, on IG, and you can also, um, I guess you can hit up Respect the DJ too. Just get it, get in there and let us know you want to be involved. And uh, that's what we got going on here at the in the world of S Street Media. All right, sounds like you got a lot going on. A lot we got, we always got a lot that's going awesome. on. Yeah, so I mean, we like you. That's a dope platform. Always got multiple things going on. If I on. DJ, I probably participate. Listen, you listen. Not go yet. go practice. I'm I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I gotta know how to produce. In the building right now, we got Fuego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York uh, City, we in the building. Yes, What's going House on? of Fire. How you feeling? I'm great. How are you? I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy you're here Dope. because we are definitely collaborating on a number of things. But um, I wanted you to come through to the house because um, of the first platform I, I met you on, which was music. Yeah, we was at that showcase. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. And, you know, I meet a lot of different people at these showcases. And, uh, you know, we clicked immediately. Yeah, walk in is love. You show yeah. me love. You say, yeah. hey, I said, what's good? Yes. You know? Yes, because, you know, I always do my research on people. I always do my research on people before I even say hello, much less, you know, talk about the show and everything. So oh, yeah, well. I had already, you know, knew the buzz that was you and that. understood, you know, you got you you doing a lot of good things right now. So I want the people to just, you know, briefly introduce yourself to the people that don't know who you are. Well, what's going on, everybody? I go by Fuego. House of Fire is the brand. Um, basically, what I've audio engineer, I, I do my own music, I write. Um, film, cinematography, uh, music videos, interviews, 
you know, basically anything I could get my hands on that mm -hmm. has to do with hip hop culture. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I grew up on that, so that's my life. And, that's right. you know, um, we're just working, trying to curate, develop artists, build build a bigger platform, bigger network, so that way we can take underground artists and give them the quality that they deserve to make them sound like they're on a mainstream platform, a That's big right. platform, major platform. That's right. Give That's them those right. tools at, at home. And what I love about you is that we have a common love for the founding elements of hip-hop and the fundamentals. And I think you understand, just like I understand, that not only do we have to uphold that, but we have to formulate it in a way that gets all these new artists you know, up, out, and exposed in yeah. the way that we learned about hip hop. Well, you know what? It's it's our culture. It's where mm -hmm. we come from. So to have these outlets, to have those elements, it's like the Ten Commandments almost. But you know, it's, right. it's they give us our outlet. That's our therapy. That's, That's what right. we need. You know what I mean? There's so much that goes on that without these things, you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't be where they're at. You know, That's right. This is this is what we use to drive us to pursue our dreams. You know, put something in the bank and be able to at least change lives. That's right. You know, if we could do that, be Awesome. So I'm always talking about how hip hop saved my life. And, you know, just because, you know, I'm not an artist doesn't mean, you know, that the art has not saved me. And yeah. so just tell the people about, you know, how hip hop has influenced your life. Wow. I mean, hip hop, you know, they, they've they've put it, they've put a label on it, mm -hmm. you know, but for me, it's always been, you know, freedom. Right. You know, hip hop. Hip hop has been my escape. Mm -hmm. When when I'm out there wilding in the streets, music has always been my place to go to to find myself. You That's know what I mean? Right. When when I was going through things emotionally, when I go through things that you know go through money things, mm -hmm. you know you, you know music has always been the thing to keep me sane and safe. That's right. So it's always been my turn to. I grew up on it. My parents did music. I, I grew up in a music household. Right. That's so, what I want. Yeah, yeah. Tell them about yeah, it. Yeah. My parents did music. Mom, my mm -hmm. father and mother met at the show. That's how I came to be. So, nice. You know, it's in my blood. The first time I was in the studio, I was in the belly. You know? That's right. I remember my first recollection of being in the studio was probably kindergarten. My, my father picked me up from school. Mm -hmm. We went to a studio on Fifth Avenue in Park Slope. Mm. And I'm sitting in the control room, I sneak in and I climb up on top of one of the stools and I start trying to rap. I was probably like six or seven. Nice. But that's like, that's the earliest I could remember. Yes. You know, um, yes. but yeah, I mean, even when it, I try to do other things, music's always called me back. So, you know, why fight against something that, that speaks to you, that calls to you? you know? That's right. Yeah. And music is a nurturer, you know. Music yeah. is probably the one and only thing that can go around the world. And one song can verb pretty much riddle through the whole world and come back. The they way. won't they won't know anything else English. Nah. Nah. But music. they know every lyric to that song. I always say music is the last magic. That's right. You know, you can there's so much you can do with that mm -hmm. and there's so many things that come with that. It's, it's it's bigger than what they make it seem. Oh yeah. You know, honey. there's power behind that. That's right. You know, and we we can we can do a lot with it, which, you know, ain't nothing wrong with chasing the bag and hitting the industry and doing what we gotta do, but to to we can't lose the history of what it was or what, right. it, what it is to us. Though, That's right. A lot of people still live this. That's right. Yeah. And I try to implement everything, you know, everything that I do, I try to implement, you know, the fundamentals in there, you know, not to be one of them old heads always nah. preaching about, you know, the olden days, how we used to do it. No. It still it's, applies. It's because it still applies and yeah. it's still very relevant. And your favorite rapper always refers to his favorite rapper. So there's always somebody that influenced somebody before them. And we just got to keep remembering that. Yeah, keep pushing it. Right. From back in the day. Back in my, back in my day. In the park. In the park. Back in my day. Um, who was your main influence to rap? Because like you said, you do a lot of different things. So, but it started in the music. So who was your main influence? I've always loved rap. Mm -hmm. my, my mom used to play pun. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, you ain't a killer. You yes. still learn how, how, she used to bump that shit. She was always an R&B head. Don't get me wrong. Okay. She used to sing and rap graffiti, the whole shit. So nice. When we grew up, she was always bumping Isley Brothers, mm -hmm. singing, making sure that I... It, I was young, singing them with her in the crib while we cleaning Sunday or something. You know? I, can't even, I can't even think right now of how many Isley Brothers songs have been sampled. Superstar, you oh, my okay, God. We did that joint. But anyway... um. My pops was he's still to this day, still he engineers, he used to rhyme, mm -hmm. um, still does dabble in his thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And what's crazy is I was always told never to, don't do that. If I have a fallback, 
you know, get a real job, all this other stuff. And mm -hmm. that's cool because those are the things that you want right. to be able and that's, to And those succeed. are the things that were instilled in them as being but stability. I was, a, I was a rebel, though. Yeah. You know, and, and for me, <laughs> Thank God. When, 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 when shit weighs down on me, mm -hmm. you know, the only way that I was able to cope was to put it down on paper. Right. It's always been my therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so um, when you talk about, you know, putting things down on paper, some people are writers, some people are verbal. Yeah. So... Um, I would expect that with music was poetry was yeah, definitely you know that journal yeah. okay yeah I remember I was dating some girl in, in high school and she was like oh the poetry club I'm like we in there and I ended up turning up and we ended up turning into a whole rap set I had See? it was awesome but even in junior high school we used to have this after school program mm -hmm. and one of the counselors that was there his name was Omar he was always you know he they never really pushed rap like that but mm -hmm. it was performing arts mm -hmm. but i low key used to rap we had cyphers in the yard yes. and he'd always be like yo let me hear that and write it down be, we'd be in the bus going on trips and we'd be in the back of the bus and banging on this yes. yeah you know he was always <laughs> pushing banging that. on the dope. seats shout out to the special anybody who grew up in queens understand what the specials were they was the city buses that they used to send over to the school and line them up yeah, yes and those used to be the worst Buses packed, in the world. I, packed out. They had five buses lined up on the side. I went to Port Richmond High School. Right. They had five, six buses lined up, and they all went to the different spots that That's the kids right. lived in, the school was uh, yes. designated to. But, yo, packed out. Fights in the bus. Yes. Smoking in the back of the bus. Yes. I remember one time I was in the bus, and Killian thought the window to get a bogey. It was hilarious. But, you know, th there's so many stories, you know? That's right. So That's many, right. That, that, that was the and best the, time. one of the best times I was gonna say was when they started banging on them seats, mm -hmm. wilding out, wilding out, and Coming it would talk, yeah, and it would turn into a whole rap session, whole freestyle session, yeah. while they were gigging on each other. Like those were some of the best times. My shit in high school, we used to, I used to go to school early. Mm -hmm. I used to leave the house at like six in the morning just to get. We started at like eight. Okay. Get there early, meet up at the deli. The deli, the they used to let us go behind. And just chill. Yeah. So that's where everybody used to be at. And we used to have our service there at 6, 7 in the morning, wilding out, causing a ruckus. The neighbors used to call the cops on us. Truancy used to pull up into the driveway. Yes. And tell us, Yo, you got to go to class. The bell's ringing. We're supposed to be in class. And we outside in the sure, back. You room. were good. You, you left early. I left at the same time and just ain't go inside till 10 <laughs> o'clock when attendance really mattered. Uh, hey, nope. I grab. Listen. I graduated on time, no. That's Ooh, a boo. fact. Uh, no, you and me both. I, I played <laughs> around, but, you know, I did my thing. Yeah. What was cool was about in that time, you know, the kids who would go to school and rhyme and then, the, you know, the OGs would come through. It would be different, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I had a little mix of both, which right. was cool. So I remember the, being told by all the heads, yo, just do this, do this, do this. And it was always... It was always cool to get that recognition and that push. That's you know super dope. Yeah, and yeah. you said you you grew up in Staten Island, right? Born in Brooklyn. Okay. Um, sixth grade we moved to Staten Island. I still went to school in Brooklyn. Okay. So I did the whole community high Oof. school. I was out there. Yeah, it was crazy. That was a commute. Like whoa. Yeah, definitely. Whew. Definitely. You could have been in three different states. With the that time, time I was takes. traveling, yeah, definitely. definitely. The time it takes you to get from Brooklyn to Staten Island, you could be in three different states yeah, by now. Well, I was fortunate. We drove into in the morning, even but that ride. But mm -hmm. after school, I would go to my grandmother's and watch BET and after school and mm -hmm. just be stuck in the room doing my work and shit like that because she never let me go nowhere. But, <laughs> you know, after school was always, you know, BT, yes. 106 and Park, Raps yes. in the Basement. You know? Salute to the VJs. The VJs are the one, uh, the video DJs, wow. pretty much. The ones that brought the music to the TV. So shout out to the VJs, you know, and I'm talking about not the main, you know, shout out to the mainstream ones, but I'm talking about the real struggle yeah. VJs. Yeah. Shout out to Bobby Simmons. Bobby you know, Simmons. shout out. Back. Yo, I love him. Shout out to you, Bobby. I love you. You know I do. Um, Bobby Simmons was one of the ones that was groundbreaking because he used to drop videos that nobody else was playing. That's how they he did used it. to drop um, music that nobody was giving any play to at all, or even on underground. And he would drop it, boom. Yeah. It was like instantly almost. And he, he really gave a lot of people play um, off of GP. That's how he's supposed to. The yeah. DJ was. Always the one that brought the underground music to the light. That's right. Which was dope. And he was one of the first ones, you know, up. besides, you know, Uncle Ralph, you know, shout out, salute to uh, Ralph Uncle McDaniels. Ralph McDaniels. Yeah. Um, he was one of the, him and Bobby Simmons in my day was uh, probably the only two. This is before Yo MTV raps and all of that. Yeah. So 
Um, they really brought the underground to the forefront. Ralph McDaniel's still doing his thing. Oh, yeah. He's still, he's still doing his thing. still out there running the route. That's why I say salute to him always. Yeah. Um, I'm, I know him. I met him. He is a wonderful guy. Very down to earth. Dope. And still about the culture. We need All that. the way. We need and that. to top that off, salute mm -hmm. to my Uncle Fred once again. Yeah, 35 yeah, yeah. years in hip-hop. That is amazing. He's still... Killing it out there. What, what, what radio station is he on now? Um, now he is, oh God, don't get me the lion. Because he's doing a lot of different he's things. He's still running around. Oh yeah. We, we was in, um, I had a showcase in Queens and we ran into one of the dudes from Kumo D and he was talking about him. Yeah, he they about to have a whole huge thing for him next next month. So I'm a definitely, yeah, yeah, you know, he's still I can't, working. I can't say anything now. It don't but, stop. That's the thing about this yes. music industry. You, if 35 years in, as an active DJ. Do you know how much? I mean, if he was to just come here and talk, do you understand the history? He's like a walking history book. Yeah, man. There's a lot. There's a, but we, you know what's cool? They need to get that on document. They oh yeah. Put, just let him these, talk. Let him talk and put the movies together and just let replay them. Mm -hmm. You know, we need that. What's so crazy is he's so humble. That he'd be like, get that shit out of my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get that shit out of my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's dope, though, you know? You Keep know? it cool, you know? Yeah, he's such a humble guy. I love him to death. Uh, so I, you know, coming from those eras where that was groundbreaking TV, those gave birth to Tigger. Yeah. And uh, 106 and Park. So my yeah. era was when Tigger was on TV, mm -hmm. when, they were, when they were getting... When, when those type the of shows were getting on it. cable and right. they were bringing our culture, we were seeing all people on the screen. Right. And then there was just that change, you know? Um, and the box. Yeah, man. Wow. wow. My favorite thing the was the box. ciphers. They always had the ciphers on Rap City. Yes. I live yes. for that. Shout I live out for to that. yo. Shout out to Dr. Dre and Ed Lover, yo, MTV Raps. Yo, they they were the ones who really. It was it was groundbreaking when they were on MTV. No rap was on cable at that time. No, not at all. That None. was the first time they had seen something like that. That's right. That's right. You That's know? when MTV was really music mm -hmm. television. Mm -hmm. Not just commercials. But I digress. <laughs> <laughs> not just. It's not. They they would have had a half hour TV it's not, show. It's not crazy reality commercials. Show. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The closest thing they had to a reality show was a DMX video. Okay, that was it. That was it. There was no reality shows happening then. Um, so when we talk about influences and talk about hip hop, you know, I know it's just deep as deeply rooted in you as it is in me. Um, like I said, the DJ is the center of, you know, the house of hip hop. So top five, dead or alive. Oh man, you can't even ask me that. <laughs> Cause there's just so many. I know. There's so many. Um, what I listen to, Nas, Hove, mm -hmm. Pun, mm -hmm. Buster, mm -hmm. you know, um, I like M. Mm -hmm. mm, it's just so many. Yeah. That I can't even tell you. What, yeah. How many did I just give you? Um, about four or five. Four or five. Yeah. Um, who else? I ain't counting today. Who else? The Locks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> give them somebody. Group. I don't even know. Give them somebody before we go to music break, because I want the people to understand, you know, your contribution mm. to hip hop, and um, so we got a couple of your joints, and we actually opened up with one of your joints. Yeah, yeah, that was one of the joints lately. Yes. Um, that's one of the tracks of my upcoming project. I'm working on Heaven of Hollywood. Mm. Um, trying to just Aaron? piece it together. You know, I, I've been away <laughs> from writing, and I'm just trying to, you know, captivate the moment more. So you know, everything is just organic emotion. You know, you you get that turn up, it's not soft, that's but just... you know, I just feel like you put in the call, you feel my energy, and, and that's what I want. Heaven to Hollywood. When, do you, when can people expect that? It's heaven or Hollywood? Oh, or I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, because it's about the path. Yeah, the path you walk. You know. Here we go. For, to, first one of the show. What's up? <laughs> they know yeah. I'm really feeling it when the arrows come Talk out. Talk to me. What's up? Yes. Let them know. What? Where, when are they gonna expect that? Where can they find that? Let me tell you something. I've been working on this project since my before my son was born. Oh, how old is he? He's five. Shit. But I've been doing no so more. much. It's, you know what it is? I had to step away from being an artist mm -hmm. to dabble in other. When I had my son, it became more of a situation where it was like, how am I gonna turn this into income? Right. And I was doing shows at the time. Me and my mm -hmm. homies, we were doing three, four shows a week. Nice. Consistently on mm -hmm. the ground, Manhattan, Baltimore, Korea, all over, everywhere, yeah, every, doesn't yeah. matter, you know. Um, and we was on a, on a path, and it was good, mm -hmm. you know. But 
when when it came time to grow up, you know, I was like, you know, let me get this engineering done. And I taught myself. My pops engineer, so I got to watch, but I had to really sit there and mess up and learn and read yes. books and figure it out. And I've been fortunate enough to make a living off of that and be able to generate some income. I managed to open up my own studio, yes. worked in hundreds of other studios, built studios, and, mm -hmm. you know, it was all a learning process, trial and error, but it made me love what I do more. And now that I got my own facility, it's like, you know what? The goal is to find artists, develop them, and give them that peace of mind and that freedom, which is good. We're going to make some money off of that. That's great. But if I can help somebody save their life or at least watch them grow and progress, that's cool. But because I have the resources, why not? Absolutely. You know? And we definitely going to get more into that yeah. um, because I want the people to know all the sides. You know, I want them to know Fuego the Artist. Yeah. I want them to know what the House of Fire is about. And I want them to know how they can reach out to you. So um, we're going to go and listen to some more of your music. All right. And then we're going to come back and give them all the goodies on. Appreciate you. When we can find let's, you. Let's get, let's get it. All right. We'll be back, y'all. Wanna try to get you down, won't let him get the best of me. Fuck them niggas that switched up, man, you know they dead to me. Don't ever give up your power to anyone to shape your destiny. Never let them get the best of me. Been feeling like the world's been testing me. Can't catch a moment of breathe. Sometimes I get no sleep, cause I've been hustling. Trying to get this cheese by any means as a man. Gotta protect your checks and provide. Got some youngins looking up to me, now I gotta do fry. I've been on my job, I'm just trying to survive. Coming up, I know haters wanted to see me die. Had to keep the thing inside of the ride. Came up from the dirt, but putting all this work. Putting so much pain to beat, you're feeling it hurt. I've been stepped on and used, betrayed, but sold lies. Committed the same crimes, man, changing my life. So dope, used to move dope, cleaned up like all soul. Them niggas that said I failed, them words, they gon' choke. Had fame that switched up when I needed them the most. Don't see them no more. So Patrick Swayze, that mean I'm ghost. The mountain peaks are hard to climb. It's steep, that's why it's tied up on my arms. It's dead before defeat to remind myself. Better days though they get to come. and still upon their way, trying to make a way. Better than my conscience. Don't shape reality, staying away from lies. It's quick to result in violence. They trying to be indicted. All to be a loose cannon like I'm running with honors. Who's winning this victory? Why they try to get you down? Won't let them get the best of me. Fuck them niggas that switched up, man. You know they dead to me. Shape your destiny. Yes, everybody. Yeah, 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 how would you think about that one? Listen, I, you know, you know, I like, you know, I like. That was a little music. different. That was more. That was more a little, a little deep. A little yeah, dark. tell them about it. What's the name of it? It's called Victory. Okay. And I was just, I was going through it, so I was like, you know, sound I, like you was going through yeah, it. Yeah, feeling mm -hmm. like the world's been testing me. Mm -hmm. Catch a moment to breathe. Sometimes I get no sleep because I've been hustling, That's trying right. to chase these dreams by any means. As a man, gotta protect your checks and provide. Got some youngies looking up to me. Now I gotta do right. I've been on my job, I'm just trying to survive. Coming up, I knew haters wanted to see me die. Had to keep the thing inside of the ride. I was wilding. Yeah, you was. <laughs> you was. Don't let the little melody fool you. He was saying some stuff. That uh, victory is on the new project as well? Yeah, it's probably going to be like track seven, maybe. Nice. I yeah, I, I okay. want to give him a range because I, like, I got current music that don't sound so old school and mm -hmm. not like the first one. So mm -hmm. I just want to give it a different feel, like make it well-rounded. Yeah, it is. Th that's one thing I, I have noticed. It is definitely a well-rounded uh, collection of music. That. that means a lot. Thank you. Yes, yeah. it is. Because, you know, I, I'm an R&B head too. And, you know, I definitely love a melodic flow. Yeah. And then I want you to, you know, I want yeah. you to the dogs. <laughs> you know, I want that too. You know, I, yeah. I, I, I want the ratchet bullshit. Yeah. Like, like I told my job, at, you know, at my paid slavery. Um, <laughs> What? That's, right. what it, that's what it is. We all paid, do that. Yeah, you're slavery. right, you're right, you're right. Um, at the paid slavery, you know, there's an office that I can go in, and that, that's where they count all the shmoney. Mm -hmm. And in the shmoney room, they be ratchet. <laughs> Ratch, you know, to the point where I'll be singing this ultimate ratchet money, song. Dude. You need yeah, to put yeah, that it's on. like the dope turn. spot, but legal. Yeah. Anyway, um, and so 
you know, I always go in there to get my dose of ratchetness for the day because, you know, they have elevator music going on, you know, for the crowd and everything. We need to turn up. We need to turn up. Yeah, so I go in there for my daily dose of ratchet. Mm -hmm. And one day I went in there and they were playing that damn song. Cut it up. Uh, mm -mm, With, um, um, what's his name? Little Punk, Big, what, I don't know what his name is. Huh? Yes, Lil Pump. Uh, 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 I love it. Okay, I like that record. Okay, I like first that of all, I can't hard. stand that. I can't uh, stand I'll be that. that. And shit. I'm not gonna. And I'm gonna go into why I can't stand it. Mm. Ratchet is one thing. That it's, it's a lot. Is ignorant. But my my homegirls love that record. They it's it's catchy, <laughs> and you know all the dudes <laughs> like it because it's finally saying out loud what they think in their head all the time. But and I and my and. I love that co the comedian. Well, yeah, what's the shorty that was. In yes, the I yeah. love her. I've yeah. loved her from Def Comedy Jam. Yeah. So, but you know what? Go so far the fuck away from me with that song. You know but, what? Though? I, I kind of not to cut you off. I just feel like I feel like right now we're at such a time where, where, where I know that the words mm -hmm. are, the, are like ratchet. They, they ratchet. They demean it sometimes. But you know, women are embracing their sexuality. So that's true. They, they like why not? At and, the same and, and time, have though, respect at the same time. At the same time, ain't no respect, y'all, y'all, y'all embracing this hoism <laughs> mentality, this stop world shit. Don't let Amber Rose get y'all fucked up. All right, nah, we still she, need you know, just because she throwing up pussy all over the internet, don't mean it's okay for you. All right, calmate, like <laughs> close slow your down. legs, slow down, bitch. You know, that's how I really feel about Listen, that. Man. But I was saying that to say, I went in there, went in the office, that's what they were playing. So I was like, no, y'all are not <laughs> playing this fucking song. Why the rest of the day I'm trying to hold the words in because I'm at the desk? It's caught in your such head. such a fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was, you was hypnotized. I got up off my desk, locked everything, went back. I was like, fuck y'all. Yeah. Okay? Because now I'm in front of people. There's nothing appropriate about what I'm saying in this song. At all. So I'm swallowing words all day. Like, That's mm -hmm. mad funny. Mm -hmm. Dancing mm -hmm. to yourself in the corner. Mm -hmm. Going to I love it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm doing that I all day. I fuck with my uncle like that when we at work. I work with my uncle. I got him a job with me. So uh -huh. we be bumping some old shit. We was, I was doing an interview for Jeanne, um, for yes. that group. And you know that song, Hey, Mr. The DJ. So I'm, I'm doing this shit. It gets stuck oh, in his head. He's singing this shit the whole day. <laughs> we're towing cars. We're moving shit around. You just catch a motherfucker singing this shit. It's mad funny. The best thing in the world is to get like a real hard dude singing some singing real some goofy, shit. floofy, <laughs> fruity shit. Like, you know, get get one of your little big homeboys to start singing, you know, Beyonce or something, and yeah. he can't stop. To the left, to the left. Oh, you do that. Your wallet. What? That Slow is down. The, yeah, it's a, what, calmate. Calmate. <laughs> but, yeah, so that I say that to say even the most ratchet of songs uh, is permeating. Yeah. And that one is the one that I see that has just, oh. Why do you think they play it so much? I it's know. it's that catchy. He's getting I a check. You, let me tell you something. The, the one thing about the radio is they will play a song and you'll either hate it mm -hmm. when you love it or you'll love it when you hate it. Yeah, it's they, brainwashed. It's brainwashed. Brain. It, listen, it's not called programming for nothing. Yeah. But the, that song... You'll hate the song, but sing everything word for word. Word for word. And I can't stand that song. I, I hate and it. I'm up here. I'm a sick fuck. I like... <laughs> what am I saying right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. got me. It'd be the worst when you hate the song, you know, word for word, and you can't yes. stop singing it. Yes. It's the worst. Yes. But there is, you know, I I, I don't want to ever give this song any props, but I got to. You got to. Because it did what it was supposed to do. That's a fact. And it got me talking about it's this shit. It's entertaining. So I guess, yep, all right, little pump, you got me, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking to the other one because he's an asshole right now. Uh -huh. But, yeah. you know, you, you got me, shit. Save okay? that man. Mm, God. Free Kanye. Free Cheddar Bang, you heard? Free Kanye. Free my son Cheddar, pardon me, I'm sorry, that's my mentor. Oh, yeah, shout out to yeah. the mentors. Shout out to my mentor, um... Mr. I'm just going to say Mr. Favors, shout out to you. I love you so much. Thank you so much for pushing me into doing this and seeing something that I didn't see in myself in the beginning. Uh, he was, he 
is a huge force in the hip hop P and R A and R that's dope world and he. Yeah, P and R, A and R. Well, he he did a, he did so much. He was you know A and R in the scope. He, this is fifty. Like he's all over the place, yeah. and um, he's introduced me to so many dope people, and has really given me the food. You know, he knows how to tell me what to do without telling me what to do, yeah. and he's really slick on planting seeds that you don't see him digging up the ground for, and he really put a lot of things into my head that in quiet times, made me make the decisions I made for myself. So. I, feel like, I feel like we all mm -hmm. in this route need that. Mm -hmm. Like for me, for my situation with him, I was working for an independent label. Shout out to Strictly Stack. And I was working for them for the last six, seven years mm -hmm. going on as their head engineer. Mm -hmm. And Cheddar was always in and out the studio and always was, he was affiliated with, with the owner and he always was schooling me. Yes. And then I started picking up the camera, got nice with it. He gave me an opportunity. He's like, listen, you got nice with it. You're going to shoot this video for me. He blessed me. But doing that opened up doors. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. being in the studio for years with, with certain people and individuals, you learn a lot. So, you know, you know, those two gentlemen that I worked with for the last really helped me become the businessman that I am. Aside yeah. for the hustle that I got, you know, just learning how to move in a room and deal with people and mm -hmm. learning learning how to work hard for something you know there's so many snakes in the business so when you come across somebody that's willing to nurture you and um but let you do your thing at the same time yeah. that's that's a one in a million um opportunity and so i re and he's still there with me to this day he's like don't ever think i'm not watching you yeah. don't ever think i'm not you know in the mix of what you're doing he's like anytime you know we need to you know he always wants to get up and we do like these ritual dinners like you know because He's really in tune to me, and I really look up to him so much. So um, if there's anybody out there that you have a passion for something and you see somebody doing it and you see that they're moving in good nature, because that's very important, link in, yeah. man, link in. And if you see somebody on the, on the other side that you see, you can link in. You never know. That may be the thing to save their life. And that's why I always say hip-hop is saved my life yeah, definitely. you know if i i could have been one block over one you know avenue over and my life would have been totally different okay thank god my grandmother moved to queens because if i stayed if they stayed in brownsville i probably would be a whole different person okay Yes, hip hop I, saved my life too so i'm, I'm an advocate life. for music i'm an advocate for hip-hop culture mm -hmm. we need it you mm -hmm. know it, it's what keeps us going you know i don't mm -hmm. i don't know where any of us would be without this this thing you know and speaking before you know we're gonna get into one more of your songs before we go but speaking of music the house of fire talk to me yeah talk to the peoples and let them know uh the house of fire is uh your baby yeah man um i had an accident i had a car accident it really had me reevaluate my life because mm -hmm. it's like what do i leave behind mm -hmm. and um you know for me to make this spot, you know, sacrifice blood, sweat, and tears to be able mm -hmm. to get the funds at least to do it. But to have something that people support, you mm -hmm. know, at this point is a blessing because I've been able to create a space where, you know, not only I can be creatively free and mm -hmm. find myself through my music, I've been able to work and develop with people who need that outlet. Yeah. And some of them are dope. Yeah. Some of these so the House of Fire is a studio, it's correct? It's a recording studio. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I want to push it as a brand yes. because I feel like it's a lifestyle. Yes. The whole, the whole, you know, wanting to go against the grain and pursue your dreams and yes. make some, make something out of it. And that's here right. we can do that. Here you can get your mind free. Here you can get that sound that's gonna make you sound like you leaving Quad mm -hmm. or, or some yes. million dollar studio that's with. Right. You know, I invested. You mm -hmm. know, I invested, and there's, there's good equipment in there. But that's it's right. not just that. It's about the vibe. It's about the energy. And that's that right. walking into that door for you to feel good yes. and not worried about who's going to walk in your session or worried about you know if the engineer is going to do do a good job that's right or to be able to experiment you know i've that's had right. artists that want to dabble in other things that don't you know like artists that want to fuck with auto-tune and it's like all right let's 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 build that's right. try it you know and let's find the pocket and figure it out so that's for me that's the dopest shit yo one of the main things um energy when it comes to a studio is having knowing that the people that are there believe in your music and want to operate in your best interest yeah, man. because people will say you know you book a studio somewhere they don't give a shit about what music you do no nah, no nah, but we trying to change that we that's wanna, right you know we want you to come back 
I want you to come back. I that's want you right. to I want you to have your outlet. You know what I mean? That's why I created the space. That's I, right. You know, visuals, anything. You want to paint a picture, let's paint it. Definitely. And tell the people how they, they can contact you if they're interested if you in want, coming through. If you want to look for me, House of Fire mm -hmm. NYC on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the major platform that I'm on. You know, shout out to my team. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the House of Fire family. Shout out to Strictly Stacking. Shout out to Cheddar. You know, free that man. And, you know, bless up to everybody. Yes. And um, before we go, I just want to uh, play one more of your track uh, for people to listen to. All right, yeah, let's get it. Which one are you going to put on? I don't know. I'm just going to let them surprise me. All right. I love it. We're going to play one more from Fuego, House of Fire, Spicy Sugar. Let's get it. House of Hip Hop. New York City. Yes. We um, Before we, before we get into it, <laughs> before we get into it, just... Real quick, tell them how to reach you on social media. House of Fire NYC. Hit my DM. Hit my comments. Let me know what's good. Get in that DM, dog. We'll be right back. Close Peace. up the show. All right? All right. Thank you yes. for having me. I cannot fuck with these niggas I'm still killing the figures I hate to go get the bag And these niggas watching a nigga I cannot fuck with these niggas These snitches be taking some pictures Try to block a nigga when he go shine But I'm so bright they can do my lie I cannot fuck with these niggas I'm still killing the figures I hate to go get the bag And these niggas watching a nigga I cannot fuck Forest. with these niggas These snitches be taking some pictures Try to block a nigga when he go shine But I'm so bright they can do my lie I need a life. This money, power, and respect. Only move when the phone ring. When they call me, you know that they call it for a check. Gotta set examples for my seed. Get us everything that we need. Wanna make it in my the team. I had to believe they would cheat. So many nights when I ain't have none. Staying on my own, I only know one. Cause niggas try to help you to throw it up in your face. Being low, wipe the mud off my face. And I got it, my heart. Many nights, hit the sacrifice. Keep from hard times. Was it living right? Work an early morning. Even the hollow nights. Now we about to get the check. I'm about to book a flight. Flow. I hear a lot of niggas saying what they gon' do But one thing these niggas ain't never gon' do Is disrespect me when I left the spot, brother with me Certified man, I want with respect Time is money, homie, please don't forget Fuck it, how I talk, yeah, you ain't my shit Ain't with fuck shit, I'm all by the check These niggas, I'm still be counting the figures I hate to go get the bag And these niggas watching a nigga I cannot fuck with these niggas I still just be taking some pictures Try to black a nigga when he gon' shine But I'm so bright, they can do my lie I cannot fuck with these niggas I'm still be counting the figures. I had to go get the bag, and these niggas watching the nigga. I cannot fuck with these niggas. These niggas be taking some pictures. Try to black a nigga when he gon' shine, but I'm so proud to get them alive. I cannot fuck with these niggas. I'm still be counting the figures. I had to go get the bag, and these niggas watching the nigga. I cannot fuck with these niggas. These niggas be taking some pictures. Try to black a nigga when he gon' shine, but I'm so proud to get them alive. I cannot fuck with these niggas. I'm still be counting the figures. I had to go get the bag, and these niggas watching the nigga. I cannot fuck with these niggas. These niggas be taking some pictures. Try to block a nigga when he gon' shine, but I'm so proud to get them alive. I cannot. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Bow. Ooh. Ooh. Nah. Bah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, we we still in there. Yo, that is my shit right Thank there. You. I love that record. You know, I always so uh, you know everybody who comes on, you know, I'm always generally feeling the music, but there's always one that I hone right in on, Good and that was it. That shit yeah. made me late to play slavery <laughs> this morning. I ain't even gonna front. Thank you. Um, what's the name of that one? Can't fuck with you niggas. I can't fuck. I was in my bag, so I had to get the bag. Y'all always know my favorite ones is the ones where I can't fuck with somebody. Yeah, man, I was tight. <laughs> I had to get it on paper. That's right. That's right. That one is a banger. Yeah, good and that one is definitely, with your permission, going to be added to the House of Hip Hop playlist. Yeah, yeah, go for so it. So we were definitely going to be playing that good on looking. here. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, I be feeling that way a lot of times, you know. But, you know, this show is really... Um, 
something for my soul, yeah. you know, and uh, my day could be going crazy. You know, even things around the show could be fucked up. But let me tell you something. Once I get here, all that shit's out the it's window. It's out the window. It's that's out the I'm window. Talking. This is your space. This is my this is your home. Place of solace. This is the house Freedom. of hip hop. Yeah, that's what and I'm talking And I don't want to be anywhere else. That's go. why I refer to that other thing as paid slavery because yeah, that shit yeah. is work. Yeah, man. All right? It's not and work when you're having fun. This is not work at all. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Fuego, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. We definitely going to have you back. All right, no doubt. I'm here. Yeah, you know, I'm knocking on the ceiling. All right, we're going to make it happen. Nigga! Yeah, basically. <laughs> Throw a sneaker up there. That's Come right. Like, thank you, what? Old school with the mop. Get bang, 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 bang. Yeah, I'm so happy that you're here. So, uh, once again, just let everybody know where to find you. Uh, on Instagram, House of Fire NYC. Be sure to check me out. Give me a follow. I follow back. I ain't bougie. Let's build. Let's politic. Let's see what happens. And you know what? Fuck that. What's happening? I'm feeling like, I don't know. I want to freestyle before you go. All right. Let me see what I could do. All um, right. Three, two, one, then. Shit. I see the flaws in the way they move. Milli Vanilli, these rappers fraud. I see through you. Can't do what I do. You a facade, false exterior. Put God fear in you. Heard he was talking loud, see me and he ain't speaking much. If you ain't heard a boy, they get familiar. Godzilla way, I run through your city and tear the whole shit up. Always on my dolly, cause phony niggas, they speak too much. Mm -hmm. Sitting on the ground floor while they up on the bleachers. Different levels to the shit. Once I bossed up, nothing's been the same. Trying to maintain. Different greens got me higher than a plane. Hey. G5, been fly. Gotta come from the bottom in order to elevate. I rise, pay my dues when I step to the table. No, I break plates. Politicking with bosses, making money moves be my fate. When they can't do the same, then it's hate. Been hungry and I take the food off your plate. Steady screaming, free my nigga, bang. I pray the DA fucked up and the judge gotta throw out the case. And if I find somebody snitched, uh, you know that I'm a rod on them. Swear to God that there might be a murder. Said before, instead of succeed, they'd rather see you fall. Mm. Try to drain my energy, had to make my circle small. Mm -hmm. They hate when I was broke, they hate me when I'm a ball. It's like I work for commission. When that phone ring, you know that that money calls. Mm. Man, I'm a boss, we the mob, only family first. Rose out the concrete, where I come from the dirt. Passive aggressive, but touch on the mind, you gon' get hurt. Think before you move, or I'll pee on your face with a shirt. Hey. I'm what success <laughs> look like after all I've overcome. Y'all niggas fraud, my motivation, that be my son. A commodity ain't no stopping me, I'm aiming to be all I could be. That's why they hating everything they want to be. Jealous cause I'm stuntin', nothing came to me easily. Days at a time, no sleep, hustling just to eat. Mm -hmm. They ain't built like I'm built for this homie, can't compete. Cause Brooklyn's where I'm from and Staten Island raised me. You could get checked like a Nike, take a knee like you Kaepernick. They ain't got a leg to stand on. Fighting to stay relevant, they're at the bottom like a sediment. Hey. Make them nervous, watch them start st st stuttering speech impediments. Hey. That's all I got for you. You know what? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Fuego in the building. Salute. Ho House of Fire meets the House of Hip Hop. It's all love here. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you so much to my S Street Media family, my S Street Media gang. Please follow them, S underscore Street underscore Media on Instagram, Skull Street on Facebook, and, huh, S-C-H-L-E-Z, -mm, bang. It only took me four months. But I fucking got it. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Yes. Follow them. Follow them on uh, Facebook. And f also follow them on Audio Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, Ustream.tv. And now YouTube. And guess what, y'all? I finally figured it out, too. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've been telling them, it's oh, coming, YouTube. it's coming, it's coming. Yeah. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> but now, I also have a YouTube page, the House of Hip Hop Podcast Show. There are select um, episodes on there right now. We're adding new episodes every day as we speak. Um, we're just getting some edited so we don't get in trouble. Um, but definitely like, follow, and subscribe uh, my page. Also on Facebook, the House of Hip Hop Podcast Show. Please follow that page. You can follow me, Spicy Sugar Seven One Eight, on Instagram, Spicy Sugar on Snapchat. Even though I only use the filters, I ain't even going front with y'all. Um, every now and then, I throw something up in the story, but you'll probably catch the Snapchat pictures on Instagram. So do what you do. Um, also, 
make sure that you follow our DJ that was to be in the building, uh, the People's DJ, DJ Shout Jeff Hayes. DJ Jeff Hayes. Um, we love you. We love you, DJ Jeff Hayes. And we'll see you again soon here. Um, I also want to remind everybody to please get out and vote. Um, please get out and support Breast Cancer Awareness for support. October. Yes. Uh, we're going to be, um, you know, definitely throwing things up as far as that. And also, please support me. I'm actually walking in uh, the kidney walk November 11th in support of the big homie, Mike Hands. All right, yeah. Salute to him. Salute to Mike Hands. Yes, he's in a fight with kidney disease, and the team... Uh, hands is going to be out there representing we're raising money so please um there's a link in uh the bio please go and donate anything you can uh to support the team uh we are just doing a lot of big things uh, a lot more to come from the house of hip-hop a lot more things to come from s street media again i want to thank you fuego for being here and like i tell everybody you're only a guest in this house one time <laughs> so i only cater to you one time next time i gotta bring a bottle i got that you next time you know, you're never a visitor anymore. You're always home. And you feel free to drop into the House of Hip Hop whenever you can. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm Thank so you. happy. You're I love here. you guys. I love you too. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You made my day. Oh. I got to run to a show now. Yeah, see, he's a busy man. So I'm, I'm so happy that he came through. We're going to go out on one more of your songs for the people. But um, until next week, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please go and look at uh the previous episodes we at episode 14 now so you got 13 episodes to catch up on um definitely all the episodes are on ustream.tv uh select episodes are on um youtube like i said audio mac uh most of the episodes up on there you can listen there just search s street media go to the page and please please support the other shows that are on s street media we got some dope shows some brand new shows we got raunchy shows we got music shows we got just about everything amazing content um you know s street media is my family so i don't you know, I'm not going to overshadow or shame any of them on there. But please go and um, definitely check out the other shows that S Street Media has to offer. And you want to add one more thing, baby? Yeah, definitely. Please, on Instagram, follow House of Fire NYC. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of interviews coming up. Got a lot of showcases that I'm promoting. Artists that need platforms. Be sure to check me out. Be sure to follow because we have a lot of showcases where artists can have opportunities to work with producers, um, media platforms, and, you know, other good things, you know, music videos, all that good stuff we all do here, and, you know, stay tuned, you won't, if you want to go on a route, we got the circuit, that's basically yes. what I'm trying to say. Yes, I love it. If anyone is interested, um, artists, artists, DJs, um, you want to be involved in the house of hip hop, you want to be involved with S Street Media, please hit me up, and I'll definitely link you in. Uh, to the appropriate people. We got more than enough room for you. Uh, if you're interested in the show, please hit me up. Uh, I will definitely uh, get you to the right people. So, because we are over here, it's the right place to be. Um, so, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Next week, we will see you for Halloween, baby. And I will be dressed. I hope that you will join me. We got some dope artists. Next week, I'm not going to drop any bombs yet um, because, you know, you got to stay tuned. But please follow me on S... Um, I'm sorry, not S Street Media. Follow them on S underscore Street underscore Media, but follow me at S uh, Spicy Sugar 718 to keep posting on everything that goes on the House of Hip Hop. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, live. Thank you, live me. New York City. Thank Have you, a good night. Stream. We love you. Peace. Good night.